So silent people, it's me again, Courtney. Um, this is week two of the Diary of a Leicester Street Fighter. Um, basically, chronicling my training up until my first amateur MMA fight, Fight UK MMA, um, which is on the Sunday, the 6th of March 2011, in Leicester, in my hometown in the UK. Um, yeah, week two. Um, I only managed to make it to two sessions in the week. Um, first on Tuesday, which is the M more the MMA session. Um, I only made it to the squad training um, because family commitments, so I only made it to one session. Um, in that session, we do more combinations again, kicking and punching, um, throwing them together, hooks. More working on the hooks than anything um, instead of using the jab. Um, but yeah, it was a good session. Sparring is getting more intense. I can see people ready to step up to the next gear. Um, but yeah, it was good. Um, the next session I made it down for was the Thursday MMA fitness session. Um, I missed the first session because I was working and I got back late. Um, so I got straight off the training, went straight to training. I was tired, but I still I thought to myself, I pushed through the boundary. I thought, yes, I want to train today. So I did the MMA fitness session. Really good session. Um, I always sleep well after that. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, so two sessions in the week, not very good for training, but I still made it down. Um, yes, this week two blog is a bit late because I've already started week three. I had a session tonight, um, but I'll tell you more about that at the end of this week. Um, I may take the camera to the gym as well to talk to a few of my teammates about the fights, what they're doing to prepare, um, stuff like that. Into probably talk to the uh, head coach Nathan Leverton, um, another coach Rob Hannis, um, probably talk to Paul Barton as well if he's about, he's another coach, um, but yeah, all at Leicester MMA, Leicester Street Fighters, so I'll probably talk to them to people as well. Um, what else have I got to say? Yeah, in, in between those, in between those sessions, obviously I'm doing my dumbbell training here, using different, um, doing different routines basically um, that I found in a I think it's men's health magazine um, that I had a while ago and I've been using those techniques and it worked really well the last time I did it um, I felt a lot stronger um, but yeah I'm going to carry on doing those so there's what dumbbell routines um, that was for week two um, obviously started week three that will go on the end of this week um, what happened over this week then um Last weekend, UFC fight for the troops two, or Ultimate Fight Night twenty three, if you want to call it. Um, on paper, looked like an underwhelming card, but it produced a good another night. The UFC took it to the next level and put, I think it was four preliminary fights on Facebook. I don't know any other any other sporting promotion that has done that. Um, that was a really really good move. They're taking over. Um, if they're going to do that again. That's really good. Um, it's getting more people into the sport. Um, obviously, it's good for, for the sport. Um, potential of 500 million people viewing the UFC on Facebook, but I don't know if everyone did. It may have been like 100,000, but still 100,000 people viewing it for free on Facebook. Probably half of those probably weren't paying for the pay-per-view either. So, or probably seen the preliminary facts for, oh, I'll get the pay-per-view as well. But yeah, it was really good. Um, Eve Edwards won um, via Ray Naked Show. I haven't seen all of that fight actually, but Eve Edwards is one of my favourite fighters. So congrats to him. Thug Jitsu. Thug Jitsu? Is it Thug Jitsu or Thug Jiu Jitsu? Master him. Anyway. Um, who else won? Matt Mitrione won. Um, I got that prediction right. Uh, Meathead moved fast. Um, yeah, he moved fast and he's got a bit of him. Pat Barry and I think it's what's the other guy's name? Um, something Brown. They're in a little something at the minute, so um, yeah, that'd be good to see. Pat Barry, um, um, he's a good fighter, good stand-up fighter. His ground not great, but yo, you got to finish the fights, man. You have to finish. That's your own. That's the only problem I have with you. You don't finish. You need to finish, bro. You need to finish and have that killer instinct. You should have killed Joe Belgium. Joe Belgium did well. If he would have got two or three takedowns, I think Pat Barry would have been done. But Joe Belgium took them leg kicks, took them leg kicks, but it still came fighting back. Um, but yeah, hats off to both of them. Pat Barry rolls on again. Um, we've probably seen fighting Matt Mitchell or that other guy, something brown, I can't remember his name. 
obviously you find him further down the line. Um, also, Mark Hominick just destroyed George Roop. Um, I didn't think he, I knew Hominick would win, but not like that, man. He battered him. And he's next in line for a title shot against Jose Aldo. And um, that should be a good fight. Um, apparently, Jose Aldo has not faced the strike like Mark Hominick. But, you know, it's fighting talk. But we'll see anyway. That will be, I think that'll be at UFC 129 in Toronto. I would love to go to that, by the way. If anyone wants to pay for my flights and my hotel, feel free to do so because I think that's going to be one of the craziest UFCs ever. Uh, the Canadian fans, personally, they're some of the craziest fans for MMA. <laughs> Hands down. Um, who else won? Evan Dunham got smashed. I didn't think Melvin Villar would do that to him. Jeez. Um, get on, man. Just take down defence and just pummeled his head off man Wee. congrats to him anyway Melvin Gillard the young assassin um, yeah I don't know who he's going to fight next um, obviously he's stepping up the ladder with a lightweight ladder possibly Sean Shirk don't know um, I heard well I've seen Kenny Florian saying stuff I don't know if he's saying stuff or just commenting on Melvin Gillard's win I haven't I actually read any interviews or anything or watched anything so I don't know what's happening there but that would be a good fight too. Um, who else won? I'm missing somebody. I know I'm missing a fight. I can't remember which fight I'm missing. Cole Miller, man. Jesus Christ. What the hell is happening to you, man? I, you look... I don't know what happened to you, man. Cole Miller versus Matt Wyman. Matt Wyman absolutely battered Cole Miller. Um, I don't know what was going on with Cole Miller. Um, he looked terrible. Um, after his last performance against Ross Pearson, I thought he'd be doing a lot better than that. But yeah, that was UFC Fight for the Troops. Uh, next up is UFC 126. I'll be doing a video for that later on in the week um, with the week three of my blog as well. Actually, I've started a blog. These videos will appear on that blog as well and I'll be using the blog as, as an extension of Twitter. Because um, I tried it before, but I didn't have anything to say, but now I've got a bit more to say. So, you know, I'll try it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll put the link at the bottom. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Dustin from Ethic Fight Company um, who will be hooking me up with some t-shirts and a pair of shorts I think it is. Um, basically I emailed a few companies to ask them to help me with training gear for my fight. Um, I wasn't asking for any money or anything like that, I was just asking basically for training gear because I need, did need a decent pair of shorts. I've got shorts but I wanted something else basically. Um, and Dustin from Fight, I keep saying Fight, Ethic Fight Company is hooking me up. Um, big shout out to Paul from Fight Company who offered me something as well, but I was unable to take it at that. Well, I'm unable to take it at the minute because I'm a bit strapped for cash, basically. Um, but I will be possibly contacting them again. Um, also, Craig from Lean Greens um, will be hooking me up with a t-shirt to training. Um, I said I would put, they're gonna send a patch of my shorts as well. So thanks for that. Um, if anybody else wants anything, you know, holler, basically. Um, but anyway, thanks to those people. And to all the people who didn't respond to my email. Oh, okay, yeah, nah, I ain't going to give people the finger. That's just wrong. But anyway, there you go. Week two of the Diary of a Less Shoot Fire. Week three to come. It'll be on time. So it'll be after the last training session, which will be on either Friday or Saturday. Um, watch out for my Strike Force video, Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix video. Um, that's looking really good. All those people that say it's oh, rubbish, Strike Force. No, that tournament looks good. Um, the UFC should, UFC should really do something like that. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Also, there is a petition on um, ironforgesiron.com. Go there because they're trying to get the. If you remember that, if you know Pride Fighting Championships. In, from Japan, their announcer Len Hart, I think it's Len Hart. They're trying to get her a petition, to, petition for her to announce a Strike Force heavyweight tournament. Sign that petition. Go over to ironforgesiron.com. Sign that petition. If she announces on that, that'll be the best thing ever. I'm telling you. That one would think you might know as a crazy pride lady, but you need to check her out. For the new people who don't know, 
typing. Oh no, I'll put a link at the bottom to some of her to some of her announcements. She's just she's wicked. Um, but yeah, go over there and sign that petition. Um, what else do I want to say? I think that's about it. Really, follow me on Twitter with the same username Choku um, for my daily ramblings or whatever I'm talking about that day. Um, but yeah, check out my blog as well, which will be have this video on it and be have a bit more word on there, a bit of an extension of Twitter. But yeah, today, no words needed. Is he the godfather of MMA? Hmm. Peace.